So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create cinematic movie logo animation without using any third-party plugin. Guys, see that's my really cool logo animation. It's looking really cinematic. Guys, it's really simple. So guys, now I teach you how I create this type of effect. Okay, so guys, firstly, click on here, new composition, check. Guys, duration, 10 seconds is good for me. So press OK. And now, guys, import your movie logo. So guys, I have logo, so import. So drag and drop on main comp like this. See guys, that's my logo. So guys, now I change resolution. So guys, click on here and full. Guys, select your logo and right click. Guys, pre comp like a logo. And guys, move all attribute check and press OK. Yeah. Okay, so guys, select your here, effect and presets. And guys, type shutter. I see that's my shutter. And apply to on logo like this. Yes. Right. See guys, that's my effect and preview check. Yeah. And now guys, see that's my view. So use render. Yes. And guys, again preview. Yeah. See guys, that's my pattern. And now guys, I change this one. That's my pattern. So use glass. I like glass. And see guys, that's my depth. So guys, I don't like depth. So use zero. See guys, that's my depth. And now guys, go to on force one. See guys, that's my some setting on here. So guys, see that's my radius. I like 0.1. Yeah. And guys, see that's my strength. So strength, I like 0.05. Enter. Yes. And guys, now again preview. Yeah. So guys, now I change gravity. So fit to 100% check. And guys, go to on here, physics. And see guys, that's my gravity. Gravity, I like zero. Yeah. Preview check. Yes. See guys, that's my first type of effect. And now, guys, I change this one. Feet. So guys, like a 0.35. Enter. And guys, again, one more time, preview check. Yeah. See guys, that's my first type of effect. And now guys, I apply more particles. So guys, go to on stop. And guys, select your logo. So duplicate. So press Ctrl D. And guys, rename. Like a logo 2. Yes. So guys, select your logo 2. And guys, go to on repetition. Here. Shape. And see guys, that's my repetition. So guys, now you can also change repetition. So guys, select your logo. And see guys, that's my repetition. You can take like a 8. Yes. And guys, select your logo 2. And repetition increase. Like a 30 is good for me. Yes. And guys, go to on ports. So guys, go to on here. Guys, I create radius animation. So guys, go to like a 2 second. 2. And see guys, that's my radius. Check. Guys, radius are like 0.08. Enter. And guys, go to like a 5 second. And radius are like 0.6. Enter. Yeah. So guys, now I also change strength. Like a 0.6 is good. Yeah. See guys, that's my strength. And guys, preview check. So guys, fit 20% check. And preview. Guys, take a little bit time. Yes. See guys, that's my, yeah. See guys, that's my really cool effect. And now guys, I change some setting on physics. So stop. And guys, go to on physics. See guys, that's my speed. Like a 0 0.6 is good. And guys, see, that's my mass variation. So randomly change like a 40 is good for me. Yeah. And one more time. Guys, go to on preview, preview check. Yeah, see guys, that's really cool, right? Okay, so guys, now I apply more particles. So guys, select your logo 2 and duplicate. So press Ctrl D, that's my logo 3. So guys, I change this one, go to one shape and repetition, I like 50. 
yes see guys that's my more particles and now guys go to like a strength force and see guys that's my strength so like a 0.5 is good 0.5 yeah and now guys go to on physics and see guys that's my speed so speed like a 0.45 guys i create randomly so guys mass variation like a 32 yeah break and guys fit to 100% check here and preview yeah see guys that's my really cool effect really cinematic effect right okay so guys now i apply one more particle effect here one more so stop so guys select your logo 3 and duplicate that's my logo 4 and guys go to one shape and see guys that's my number of count like a 160 yeah it's looking really good and now guys go to one strength force one strength like a 0 0.55 and guys go to one physics guys physics randomly change like a 0 0.48 enter and mass i like 30 yeah great see guys that's my beautiful logo animation that's looking really cinematic so guys go to one preview yeah see guys it's looking really cool right okay so guys now this time i apply glow effect so guys go to one zero frame and guys effect and presets so apply glow select your glow guys i apply glow effect on this one layer so apply like this yeah and guys threshold 100 and guys radius 100 and intensity 2 is good yeah much better and one more time preview yes it's looking really good and now guys my logo animation is finished it's looking really good and next one guys i apply glow effect so guys stop and now guys i create new solid layer yeah and guys i change color so guys color i like white so press ok and guys now i take shape layer this time shape layer and guys i create circle so guys create circle so holding shape key and control guys create shape like this yeah that's my circle and now guys i apply blur effect so effect and preset see guys that's my glossy and blur apply to one shape layer circle like this and guys i increase blurness like a 250 enter yes see guys that's a blur like a 200 is good for me yeah see guys that's my blur effect and now guys select your white background this one new solid layer so pre-comp like a map so press ok yes and hide so guys next one i take adjustment layer and guys go to one effect and preset and type camera select your camera lens blur apply to an adjustment layer like this and see guys that's my blur radius i like 15 is good yeah that's my blur effect and guys shape you can change different different style of shape but i like octagon yes and guys see that's my blur map i like map this one that's my map yes see guys that's my really cool sharp effect right and guys fit 100% jack yeah see guys that's my really cool depth of field effect it's looking really cinematic so guys go to one preview and preview check guys take little bit time for render preview because that's my little bit heavy effect okay so guys stop and guys now you can click on here edge behavior check and see guys that's a blur radius guys you can change like a 10 is dependent on your work okay so guys blur radius i like 10 is good so guys one more time go to back and preview check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you